Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn Science with me. Today we are going to talk about male reproductive system. The male reproductive system consists of a group of organs that are responsible for reproduction as well as urination or the urinary system. In this diagram you can see the two tubes which are called ureter, they enter into the urinary bladder and are responsible for the collection of urine. And then you can see the vas deferens, these are also muscular tubes and they are responsible for the transportation of mature sperms. Now you can see the seminal vesicles, these are pouch-like structures. The fluid within the seminal vesicle causes the mobility of the sperms. Just below the seminal vesicles, we have bulbourethral gland, which are also called Cowper's gland. This bulbourethral gland causes the lubrication of urethra and neutralize any acidity that may be present due to residual drops of urine in the urethra. On the right side of diagram, you can see the epididymis. This epididymis is a tube that connects a testicle to a vas deferens in the male reproductive system. The vas afferentia, also called sperm duct or a ductus deferens in each testicle. The job of these ducts is to move sperms away from its storage place in the testicles. The male reproductive system consists of a group of organs that make this reproductive and urinary system. And in males, we have external genital organs and the internal genital organs. External genital organs are those organs which are out of the body like penis and scrotum while the internal genital organs are testes, epididymis, vasodeferens, accessory glands, seminal vesicles, prostrate gland, bulbo urethral glands. The external genital organs which are penis and scrotum. Let's discuss the details. Penis is the organ by which sperm is introduced into the female. The penis is consists of three parts, the root, the body or shaft and the glands. The root is the part that attached to the wall of abdomen. Let's discuss the erectile tissues. Corpus spongiosum. These are the spongy tissues that surrounds urethra and involve in erection by allowing rushing of blood into it. And the second one is corpus cavernosa. These are the erectile tissues which contains most of the blood during the penile erection. Now we have urethra. Urethra is actually a tube within the panel that conveys salmon out of the body during ejaculation. Now prepuce, this is the fold of a skin that covers the head of the penis. Now the other external or the physical genital reproductive male organ is a scrotum. It is the loose pouch like sac of the skin that hangs behind the penis. It holds the testicles also called which are also called testes as well as many nerves and blood vessels. The scrotum protects testes as well as provide a sort of climate control system. For normal sperm development, the testes must be at a temperature slightly cooler than the body temperature. Now we have internal genital organs. Let's discuss the details of these internal genital organs. The testes or testicles, these are oval organs about the size of a very large olives. These lie in the scrotum and secured at either end by a structure called the spermatic cord. Each testes is made up of tightly coiled structures called seminiferous tubules. The testes are responsible for making testosterone, the primary male sex hormone. Now the epididymis, which is a long coiled tube that rests on the back side of each testicles. It carries and stores sperm cells that are created in the testes. It's also the job of the epididymis to bring the sperm to maturity. The sperm that emerge from the testes are immature and incapable of fertilization. During sexual arousal, contraction forces the sperm into the vasodeferens. In the given diagram, you can see the adult human testicle with epididymis, which contains head of epididymis, body of epididymis, tail of epididymis, and the vasodeferens. This vasodeferens, which are also called ductus deferens, it is a long muscular tube that travels from the epididymis into the pelvic cavity to just behind the bladder. The vas deferens transport mature sperms to the urethra in preparation for ejaculation. The remaining parts will be discussed in the next lecture. I hope you understand this lecture. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, learn science with me. Like this video, share it with your friends. Thank you.